Hi, I'm Futong Chang, author of Concrete Countertops and Concrete at Home. I'm here to talk about concrete countertop making. And one of the things that's often asked of me is, well, why concrete? Why concrete in a home? Isn't concrete a uh, material you use for retaining walls and subfloors and things like that? Well, I say that concrete can be a star player. It doesn't have to be the understudy for other materials. It can be the finished material. And we have so many ways to show you how to do that. In my home, which I built 25 years ago, and this is the first countertop that I did 25 years ago, and sort of the, um, this is the ground zero for the countertop uh, industry that has evolved. You can see that uh, form and function really blend together and the use of concrete, this liquid stone, gives you opportunities to create depth in the front apron that you couldn't get with another material like granite or any slab material would have to be built up. This has that feeling, that, that, that sense of mass appeal, if you will, that shows off the uh, bulk of the material. It's, uh, it's an antidote to our veneer society in having something that's solid, you know, like solid gold, solid wood, solid concrete. That's one reason. Another reason is that, practically speaking, now that you have some more depth to work with, uh, you can do things that are almost like landscapes, practical landscapes, in the countertop itself. So a drain board can have expression. The use of runners so that to guide, let's say, a cutting board can be built in. Uh, and all these things can be done relatively inexpensively. It takes a, a professional, a lot of craftsmanship to bring out some subtleties, but the average person, homeowner, amateur who wants to get into this, you can start out simple, and I did many years ago, start out and, and start with something small, something modest, like a vanity top or a, a bench, for example, and begin to see how that finished material, how you can use it and make it into this beautiful finished product. So in my kitchen, I've tried to uh, illustrate that way back 25 years ago. And here, today, you have a lot of tools that make it so much easier for both the amateur and the professional to do what I did with a lot less time and effort. And remember, Every good project begins and ends with good design. This is Fu Tong Cheng.